it's trying to get going. There we go. I got my I got my 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 uh, Facebook live thing going right now. Finally, um, okay, it's working. It's going. It's going. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, I see. Now that being said, there we go. We're gonna click right here, and there we go. Anyways, I'm gonna try this. Uh, I'm gonna start this again for the YouTube viewers. Okay, so look at be patient with me, radio station listeners. Good morning, Double R Radio. Friday morning. Easter weekend, 71 degrees happening right now in San Antonio, April the 15th, 2022. I'm going to make this really, really short and sweet because I've already said this once before. Didn't know that I was not live. Well, anyways, my grandbaby Mia has sent me some Easter jokes. So I'm going to be saying some Easter jokes. Then I'm going to talk about some news. Then we're going to go back to the Easter joke. Then we'll talk a little bit more news. Then, you know, we're going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, that being said here, um, let's see here. Let's see what my granddaughter Mia has sent me here on to get y'all in the Easter spirit with some Easter jokes. There we go. Good morning, shout out to Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Now, let's see what my grandbaby, well, granddaughter Mia has sent me. Let me see here. Easter joke number one. What is a rabbit's favorite style of dance? Easter rabbit style of dance. Hip hop. Um, that makes sense, and that's not too funny. Anyways, Easter joke number two. Did you hear about the Easter rabbit who refused to leave her house? She was having a bad hair day. Eh, uh, Mia, I think you're losing it. We'll give you another one here. Um, where did the Easter bunny bride and groom go after their wedding? On their bunny moon. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the Easter Bunny eat the wedding ring? <laughs> because she heard it was 18 carats. Uh, no, that's not gonna. Uh, there we go. Well, I'll give y'all one more here, and then we'll talk some news here. How do rabbits? Should I say how do Easter rabbits travel? By airplane. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's, let's, let's talk news here a little bit, and we'll talk a little bit more. Good morning, Jada. Good morning, Diana Casares. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Check this out. Crazy story. <laughs> Alabama. A man who complained about living next door to a pedophile was arrested. Why? For being a pedophile. How crazy is that, right, for a man to call the cops? Hey, man, I don't want this pedophile living next to me. What happens? He gets arrested. Why? Because he was a pedophile. I guess he wanted to be the only pedophile in the block. Go figure, man. Right? Crazy story, man. Some of these people, man, I'm telling you. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now, check this out. A teacher in South Carolina said he would rather be redeployed to Iraq than go back to the classroom. He wants nothing to do to be in class. So, look, he'd rather go to Iraq than to be in the classroom again. I was never a school kind of a person. I went because I had to, but I was never really, I, I would say, I don't need to know this. What what, is, what does this have to do with my life, what I'm going to be doing out there, man? I would tell the teacher that. What is this? Why can't we get straight to the point? Well, let's get to the sex education point. Let's get to that. But we never did, and oh, well, and then that's like I would... I would skip a lot of school, man. I'm not playing either. <laughs> uh, let me see here. What else do I have here? Now, check this out. A man lost his entire $500,000 savings after the person who knew his password and ID died. He can't get into his account. Because the person who built his account, who set up the username password, died. <laughs> Meanwhile, his $500,000 are in this account. He can't get in there. And the bank would not let him in there because it wasn't his account. He had somebody else storing his money for him. So $500,000 are just kind of like sitting there. Right, waiting to take it, be taken out to go, you know, to spend that five hundred thousand dollars. But this person who owns that money can't get it because the person who knows the username password 
died. That's crazy, man. That really, really is. Let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody here. There we go. Good morning, Chadagan. After double R radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Let me give you all a couple more of these stupid little bunny jokes. There we go. <laughs> stupid little bunny jokes. How do you catch a unique Easter rabbit? Uh, unique up on it. Okay. Uh, here's another one. Uh, <laughs> what did the Easter bunny say to the duck? You quack me up. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me see here. Why did the Easter Bunny cross the road? He wanted to prove he could hip hop. Ah, stupid. Anyways, another one. Uh, but then, why don't Easter rabbits get hot in the summertime? Because they have hair conditioning. Okay. What kind of books do Easter rabbits like to read? Ones with hoppy endings. Okay, and we'll give you one more here. How can you tell a rabbit is getting old? Look for the gray hairs. <laughs> okay, let's get back to see what the hell is. Those stupid, silly jokes. Talked about that, talked about that, talked about... You know, it is Easter time and uh, Easter weekend, and uh, it's funny that uh, I've noticed several people that are already on the corners of the streets of San Antonio selling cascarones, right? All these fancy, dancy cascarones and everything, and I don't even think about buying that stuff. I just like, who needs it? You know, the, call, me, call me a party pooper, man. I just, you know, the cascarone deal, whatever, you know, it was cool when I was little, young, whatever, but... Now, oh, don't even think about cracking one of those babies on me. Really, man. And there are some people that don't know how to crack a cascarone on somebody. It's one thing to crack it on their head. But there are some people, man, that go on this. And they'll just slam it on your head and you have a headache for a week. Really, man. You got to know how to crack a cascarone. I mean, you don't want to give somebody a brain aneurysm, right? Or <laughs> really, man, because there are some people that are very, very rough cracking cascarones. <laughs> Bam! And I'm like, hey, man, really? Are you serious? And that's true. I'll never forget one time I went out to the bar, and it was Easter weekend, and, uh, you know, I uh, I was at the bar drinking a beer, right? And this is all true. I'm not making this up. I was at the bar drinking a beer, right? It was Easter weekend, and, um, ah, getting some coffee. And this girl came up to me, and um, out of the clear blue, I didn't know who she was. This is all true. True story. I didn't know who she was. She came up to me and she tells me, so do you have any Easter cascarones? I'm like, what the hell? What did you say? And she tells me, do you have any Easter cascarones? Because I would love to see them. I said, hey, man, what kind of talk is that? I don't even know you. But I like the way you're talking. <laughs> she goes, so do you or don't you? Do I? Don't I? What? You know, have Easter cascarones. I would love to see them. And I said, well, kind of, sort of. <laughs> kind of, sort of. And she goes, well, when can I see your Easter cascarones? And that's all I'm going to say, because this is a family show. That's all I'm going to say about that. But uh, you're probably wondering, so, Robert, did she get to see your Easter cascarones? Um <sighs> what happens in San Antonio stays in San Antonio, right? Uh, anyway, let's see here. What else do I get everything to go? There we go. Good morning, John. Again, at the Double R Radio sponsor, Dora Peña Rodriguez, Garfield, Texas. He said, good morning to everyone. Wishing you an extravaganza kind of an Easter. Now, I kind of got tired of my, of my grandbaby Mia's joke, so I'm going to give you all one here and move on with some music. Now, here's my Easter joke. Right here. Do you know why you can never hear Easter rabbits making love? Because they have cotton balls. Good morning. There we go. Good morning, Double R Radio. Friday morning, Freeform Friday. YouTube viewers, good morning as well. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't by now. And you can always help support Double R Radio by making a donation to the cause. Just go to robertrevisradio.com. Click on the donate button. All donations are greatly, greatly appreciated. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. Let me do some clicks here. There we go. Click number one. Boop. And click number two. Adios. <laughs> 